What's up guys? Back again with a, with another uh, UFC video here. So this is on the uh, Hendricks versus Thompson card, UFC Fight Night, and I'm gonna be talking about the main card. So this is a re review slash uh, re results and recap video. You know, to go ahead and talk about these uh, fights on the main card. So let's go ahead and get started here on the first fight. We had uh, Mike Pyle here, veteran, fighting against uh, Sean Spencer. So I don't know too much about Spencer, but he was my pick because Pyle here was getting beat up for a while. I think he lost two fights in a row. And yeah, he was my pick, but let's go ahead and talk about the fight. As you can see here, the strikes are very close in the first round. And actually, I think it was, uh, I think it was the first round where uh, Spencer here actually uh, knocked them down because I remember, yeah, as you can see, he has a knockdown point right there. Yeah, first round, as you can see right there, guys, they even put it down here. He had one knockdown. He actually uh, dropped Pyle, and you know, I thought maybe he was gonna finish him. Uh, but here, um, Sean Spencer here is not known for his power. So this guy's like a good, a uh, good striker. But mostly goes to decisions. Pretty much like a technique type of striker guy here. Powell here, veteran. Uh, he has a lot of finishing ability with his submissions, and he does have some power also for being a uh, an older uh, older fighter. So yeah, guys. Pretty much, I thought Spencer here would you know be able to beat him up pretty easily. But as you can see here by the strikes, you know the rounds were pretty close. Uh, Powell here ended up getting a takedown. Then he started winning the second round a lot more. But yeah, pretty much, uh, I do agree here by the stats, pretty much uh, Powell here was winning the fight, I think. If not, it was a uh, one and one but it doesn't matter anyway, because in the third round here, Powell here was able to hurt Spencer here with the uh, with a spinning elbow, guys. Clipped him right on the, the head. Spencer got rocked, and yeah, Powell here, finisher. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's an older fighter, he's still a veteran. You know, he was able to put him away, guys. As you can see, also, they, they got the uh, Fight of the Night award, which I, I would say, yeah, this is probably the Fight of the Night because I didn't see it that much exciting fights in the whole card. So, yeah, I, I'd say this is this is the uh, Fight of the Night. Both these guys were, you know, they were banging, you know what I'm saying? These guys were striking. But, yeah, here, um, Powell here got the win. Uh, you know, clean uh, little TKO finish for him here, guys. Uh, guy's getting old, but, you know, still has the power, still has finishing ability, so... You know, I, I would I would say don't count out Powell as much anymore. But yeah, that's all that's all I gotta say about uh, this fight. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, uh, Misha Sirkunov against Alex Nicholson. So Nicholson here was the guy that was uh, that did a proposal on the weigh-in show. You know, I thought that was kind of weird, but you know, congrats to him. Anyways, it didn't work out to him. Uh, didn't work out too good for him anyway in the fight because this guy got. He got pretty much smashed, guys. Uh, he he did not look good. Uh, like a lot, like a lot of people were saying, uh, he was just you know he was just gonna be outmatched. Uh, Sakunov here, just a straight up animal, man. This guy's a straight up beast. He just straight up dominated the first round. We go to the second round. That's when he gets him down, and this guy fucking uh cranks this guy's jaw or something like I don't know what the fuck you want to call that. He just cranked his jaw, and then he he like broke it or something. He like popped it. It was pretty nasty anyway, uh, anyways, uh, Nicholson here tapped real quick because, you know, he had that lock on his jaw and yeah. This is a scary guy right here, a scary guy here at 205, guys. We gotta look out for this guy. They gotta give him better fighters to fight though. This guy's fighting newcomers here. Nah, this guy should be fighting some top 15 talent from now on. So, Sir Kunov here, he's a straight up beast. And yeah, guys, I'd say look out for this guy because, yeah, he's looking pretty good. Also, uh, he was my pick, but a lot of people picked him anyway. All right, we we'll go to the next fight. Benavides against uh, Makovsky here. I actually thought I had this fight picked on my DraftKings, but I guess I did not, which I was pretty sad about because I picked Benavides, and Benavides was using a lot of strikes. So you can see there are a lot of significant strikes, which mean a lot of points on DraftKings. Even though it did went to decision, uh, Benavides here was pretty much winning the fight. I, you can see the fight was kind of weird on the, on the scoring. They gave a round to Makovsky. I don't really remember that round because it looked like Benavides was just smashing him the whole fight. This guy was doing whatever he wanted to do. He was. It says here Makovsky was landing some takedowns. Yeah, I don't really. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Let me go back. Let me go back. Oops. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I was over here clicking. Yeah. Anyways, I don't remember really him landing takedowns. Yeah, that's what I want to see. All those takedown attempts. And almost 20 takedown attempts only landed four. Anyways, he wasn't able to do anything with them pretty much. Benavides here was winning the fight on the feet very easily. Makovsky here I thought would look a lot better, but he didn't, which is why I didn't pick him also on DraftKings. 
but yeah I was gonna pick Benavides here and that was my pick anyway but Benavides here got the decision you know he was pretty much I'll strike them I worked them you know that's why he's like the number one contender at uh, flyweight pretty much so yeah good fight for Benavides there let's go let's go ahead and move on to the next fight uh, Owen St. Pru or OSP against uh, Cavalcante this fight went decision as you can see here damn that's a lot of total strikes right there 106 Anyway, he's landed 51 significant strikes. Damn, look at that. Only 10 significant strikes by uh, Fei Xiao here. As you can see, he didn't, he didn't do much in the second and third round, guys. This guy was, like, gassed. He just didn't do shit, guys. Uh, ben, uh, not Benavides. Uh, OSP here just couldn't finish him, though. Couldn't put him away, even though I, I know uh, he was he actually hurt uh, Fei Xiao a couple times. Especially, I think, along, yeah, close to the fence. He was able to hurt him with a left punch or something like that. But yeah, Ben uh, Owens OSP pretty much dominated the whole fight, guys. Uh, Fei Zhao, I mean, I don't know. I think he might get cut now. That's very bad, right there. Only ten significant strikes landed uh, in the whole fight. That's pretty weak. Fei Zhao did not look good. OSP, you know, should have looked good as always. Athletic beast, and he was also my pick on DraftKings. So, anyways, that's all I got to say about that fight. Good win for him. Next, we go on to Big Country against uh, Jerry Rocha, or as you could say. Uh, not big country, but Roy Nelson. Anyways, uh, stats, yeah, are pretty close. And let's see, yeah, one someone gave a uh, row shot around, which makes sense. So both these guys, all these guys did was just stand in front of each other and throw punches. But it was very sloppy, the very sloppy fight by both fighters. Row shot here was running away from a uh, big country's combinations because he didn't want to get hit by that right hand. I mean, no one wants to get hit by the right hand, but this guy is, you know, running away. So you can see the first round actually, row shot here got the better of the strikes. So I'm guessing he probably won that round for this judge over here. But yeah, uh, I thought yeah, Big Country won the fight. He was the one, you know, had the octal control pushing forward. And yeah, he just he was the one that came forward. And Rocha did not do anything uh, by uh, wrestling, you know, with his wrestling. No takedowns landed. He had two attempts. I thought he would have a lot more. But anyways, I did pick uh, Roy Nelson as my pick though. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that fight. It was pretty pretty bad, guys. Pretty boring. But yeah, good win for uh, Roy Nelson, I guess. Alright, I'm going to move on to the main event right here. Hendricks against uh, Stephen Thompson. Man, this guy was impressive, man. Thompson here stuffing uh, Hendricks' takedown. That, that really impressed me, guys. I mean, uh, Hendricks here, just he just looked a little bit too small, guys. I thought, you know, he, he really leaned out, but I thought he would be still be, you know, strong. But no, this guy seems like he's lacking the strength now, guys, at 170. He, was able, he wasn't able to get this guy down. Thompson not really known for wrestling either. He's a kickboxer, very high level uh, kickboxing style with like karate, and yeah, he was just destroying him with the kicks, guys. This guy was keeping the the distance, you know, the range. He was just he just kept kicking Hendricks in the head, the body. This guy was just dominating him on the feet, guys. Hendricks, if he once he couldn't land the takedown, he was just getting destroyed on the feet. He just he couldn't land any uh much punches, as you can see. He only landed seven significant strikes. Uh, and yeah, he just he, he ended up getting finished, guys. This guy was just getting picked apart. I mean, if you want to stand up with a high level striker like Thompson, I mean, that, that is pretty much what's going to happen, I think. Hendricks here couldn't get the takedown. Uh, I thought, you know, he really was hesitating a lot in the fight, and he also said it himself. I did pick Hendricks here as, as my pick, but yeah, Thompson here pretty much put on a really impressive performance. As you can see, they even gave him, they gave him the Performance of the Night Award, an extra 50000 in his pocket. Yeah, he looked really good, and, you know, hopefully Thompson here gets a title shot or fights, you know, another top guy, because this guy is a beast, and it was fun fun to watch him, you know, showcase his striking skills. Uh, I feel sorry for Hendricks, though, because, you know, he, he really trained hard for this fight. As you can see, you know, he was in good shape, and, you know, he lost, but that's just what happens sometimes, guys. It sucks, too, because, you know, he got knocked out. This guy got dropped, you know, against the cage, and, you know, Thompson here went for the kill dropping punches and then you know the referee just stopped the fight but yeah guys uh, it was pretty uh, decent card I would say it wasn't the most exciting but I'd say it was decent it's crazy though because this this card was going to be a uh, UFC uh, 196 and you know the only fight we're missing was the main event which was uh, going to be uh, Velasquez against Verdum but yeah I didn't think that this card was too it was that good for pay-per-view though but yeah it was an okay card you know decent but yeah that's all I got to say about the fights guys not a good night for me on DraftKings, but yeah, good night, good night of fights as always. You know, decent fights. And yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. So, if you guys uh, want to join DraftKings? Link below. I'll see you guys on the next video.